Hi dears, welcome to mathematics class. The to topic of our lesson is exponents, practice questions, part 3. Question number 1. Arrange, arrange the following polynomial based on descending exponents of x. Previous uh, question uh, lesson, uh, we uh, uh, thought about the uh, ascending exponent. Now this is descending. Descending means starting from uh, greatest power or, or exponents, and uh, we continue toward the smallest. The smallest is uh, the biggest negative is the smallest. Now the greatest one is x to the power of 2. It means that answer answer is equal to negative 7x negative 7x to the power of 2. After that is x to the power of 1. Positive 5x to the power of 1 or x. We don't uh, think about these uh, coefficient numbers, negative 7 or 5, just we consider the power of the x because it's exponent of x then after that is positive x to the power of 1 over 8 1 over 8 then the 1 1 is x to the power of 0 we know from previous lessons that any number to the power of 0 is 1. Because now we are discussing about the power of x, now 1 is equal to x to the power of 0. We can write here 1 or we can write here x to the power of 0. Then after that, the smallest uh, negative is the, uh, the lar largest or the biggest and the biggest negative is the smallest. Now plus 3x to the power of negative 1 over 4 or minus 1 over 4 and minus 2x to the power of negative or minus 3 over 4 minus 3 over 4 I repeat for you arrange the following polynomial based on the sending exponents of x x to the power of 1 over 8 minus 2x to the power of negative or minus 3 over 4 plus 3x to the power of minus 1 over 4 plus 1 minus 7x to the power of 2 plus 5x. Now we start from the largest and go toward the smallest. The large one is x to the power of 2. Negative 7x to the power of 2 then plus 5x to the power of 5, uh, 1 plus x to the power of 1 over 8 plus x to the power of 0 that is 1 or we can write 1 plus 3x to the power of minus 1 over 4 minus 2x to the power of minus 3 over 4 now it arrived according to the uh, descending order of exponents of x.
sum number 2 multiply a b to the power of negative 1 plus 1 plus a to the power of 2 b to the power of negative 1 with a to the power of 2 b to the power of negative 2 plus 1 minus a minus a b to the power of minus 1. Now we multiply these two polynomials or trinomials. First of all, we should uh, arrange this according to uh, like as in a ascending order or descending order according to one of these variables. Now we arrange this according to the uh, a. The first one, a1, one, 1 is a to the power of 0. Now we write 1 plus a b to the power of negative 1 plus a to the power of 2 b to the power of negative 2. Now we multiply this one with the second trinomial that is positive 1 of 1 plus a to uh, minus a b to the power of negative 1 plus a to the power of 2 b to the power of negative 2. We multiply these two trinomials because they have three turn uh, uh, they, they are trinomials or we can write uh, we can say also polynomial because more than two or uh, the, the two term we can write uh, say trinomial, uh, polynomial. Now what we do we multiply the first term with all of this first one then the second then the third. Positive times positive the number that don't have any sign that is also positive. Positive times positive is positive. 1 times 1 is 1. Positive times positive is positive. 1 times a to b to the power of negative 1 is a b to the power of negative 1. Positive times positive is positive. 1, one times any number is that number. 1 times a to the power of 2 b to the power of negative 2 is a to the power of 2, b to the power of negative 2. Now we multiply the second one. Negative times positive is negative. a b to the power of uh, my, minus 1 times a, 1 is a, b to the power of minus 1. Now negative times positive is positive. A, to, a times a is a to the power of 2 and b to the power of negative 1 and times b to the power of negative 1 we add the, the power the powers it is b to the power of negative 2 and the third one negative times positive is negative a times a to the power of 2 is a to the power of 3 b to the power of negative 1 times b to the power of negative 2 is neg b to the power of negative 3. Then the third one, positive times positive is positive. This one is also negative. Negative. 
positive times positive is positive. A1 times A to the power of 2, B to the power of negative 2 is A to the power of 2, B to the power of negative 2. And then positive times positive is positive. A to the power of 2 times A to the power of 1 is A to the power of 3. B to the power of negative 3. And then and the last one, positive times positive is positive. A to the power of 2 and A to the power of 2 is A to the power of 4. And B to the power of minus 4. Now we add all of these algebraically. One positive a b to the power of negative one cancel with a positive a b to the power of uh, negative a b to the power of negative one and positive a to the power of two b to the power of negative two cancel with the negative a to the power of two b to the power of just only remaining here a to the power of 2, b to the power of negative 2, and positive negative a to the power of t, 3, b to the power of negative 3, cancel with the positive a to the power of t, 3, uh, b to the power of negative 3, and remaining here, positive or plus a to the power of 4, b to the power of minus 4 or negative 4. This is the answer for um, after multiplying these two polynomials with each other. I repeat for you, multiply a b to the power of negative 1 plus 1 plus e to the power of 2 b to the power of negative 2 with a to the power of 2 b to the power of negative 2 plus 1 negative minus a to the power of 1, b to the power of negative 1. Then we arrange the first one according to the powers of or exponents of a. 1 plus a, b to the power of negative 1 plus a to the power of 2, b to the power of negative 2. And the second one, 1 minus a, b to the power of negative 1 plus a to the power of 2, b to the power of negative 2. Then we multiply the first one with all of this. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times a to the power of a, b to the power of negative 1 is a, b to the power of negative 1. Negative times negative, uh, positive times positive is positive. 1 times a to the power of 2, b to the power of negative 2 is a to the power of 2, negative 2. Then the second one, this one, second term, with all of this first one, Positive, negative times positive is negative. A B to the power of negative one times and one is A B to the power of negative one. Negative times negative is negative. A to the power of one when A to the power of one is A to the power of two and B to the power of one negative one and B to the power of negative one is B to the power of negative two. And negative times positive is negative. A to the power of three B to the power of negative three. And third one a to the power of 2, negative b to the power of 2, times 1 is a to the power of 2, uh, b to the power of negative 2, then a to the power of 2, b to the power of negative 2, when I multiply with a to the power of 1, b to the power of negative 1 is equal to a to the power of 3, b to the power of minus 3, positive times positive, times positive, a to the power of 2, b to the power of minus 2, times a to the power of 2, b to the power of minus 2, is equal to a to the power of 4, b to the power of minus 4. 1 is here, positive a, b to the power of negative 1, cancel with the negative 1, and these two cancel with each other, only remaining a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2, 
these two ones because one is negative, the other is positive, cancel with each other, and this one. Then the answer is a1 plus a to the power of 2b to the power of minus 2 plus a to the power of 4b to the power of minus 4. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with your family and friends. And please press the notification bell to get notified for more videos. Have a great and wonderful day and night. Bye bye.